Hit wanted to demo a cool new feature, um, kind of as a follow up here, and this is to this is about instantiating default values. So the reason why on web chat it's not easy to pass variables in is because it's inherently dangerous because you have to you can't just let users modify whatever variable they want, right? If I had a video game and I had a variable called health, um, the user on the website shouldn't just be able to enter health equals like. 100,000 or something and cheat the system. You have to control very carefully what variables you want to be instantiated and which ones are hidden away from the user and they should never be able to touch those. So this is where um, this new thing comes in. So I'm just gonna grab a JavaScript set, very simple. There's now this last event variable, um, like define. Uh, we can do a simple check, last event, if we start on the prototype tool, it will not be defined. Um, so I'm going to do an else. I've created a variable called user and maybe we want to get the user's email or something, right? So um, say unknown prototype user. And I'm just going to drag a simple speak step here. And I'm just going to write user. So I start the prototype. It should just say unknown prototype user. Now, I'm gonna head over to the integration side, web chat. I'm just gonna copy the snippet here. Um, we can try on another website that I like, W3Schools. So over here, um, I'm just gonna plop this in. Just did development. And the new field that we've added in is called uh, launch. And after launch, you write event. And then within here, event, this is a request object. So it looks, has a type and a payload. The type almost has to always just be launch. So you have to just make sure to write launch. And over here, we haven't defined anything yet, but I'm gonna pull out user equals last event dot payload dot um, username. Uh, let's say that. And we'll run the prototype just to make sure it renders. And so I can put in a username. And I'll say uh, Tyler H. Han, which is my name. Cool. If I run this now, there we go. Now it says Tyler H. Han. That doesn't seem too remarkable, but I'm able to basically set a variable inside voice flow, um, as you can see here, user and use it basically and it doesn't have to be in a text step but you can use that information throughout the entire conversation um, kind of just for fun uh, let's create a new variable called uh, payload um, we can take a look at what this looks like so payload equals json dot stringify uh, last event is the user and then payload that and what I can do now is I'm gonna refresh the page start this over again and I can add a bunch of other things that might be useful here so you know username user ID uh, one two three um, maybe uh, email Tyler at Tyler.com. that's not my real email um, phone number uh, <clears throat> current page, you can say like home page. So we know like based on what page they're on, they're navigating, that's how we should start the chat or something like that. So now if I run this, start it again, because I already had a previous chat. You can see all this information um, that I've defined here can get passed into voice flow. So I'm defining these variables through the JavaScript step, but this is very powerful because it lets you kind of configure a lot of things. And it's not limited to just the start. Um, at any place in the tool, you can always reference this last event object. Um, it's particularly useful with like custom actions and other things like that. So yeah, good luck.